What's up, humans, and welcome to a new Psicoactivo. Happy Tuesday. This week is going to be UFO Twitter week, and I have a slot for the event. It's going to be on uh, Sunday, September 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So mark your calendars. I will make the announcement of the guest as soon as I create the space, the guest already said yes. But here's a funny story. Astral, the Astral, who is a known member of the UFO Twitter community, he often does Twitter spaces. He works with Ross Colthart and Bryce Sable on the Need to Know podcast. And uh, he's their ninja, like their editor, and he... He does a lot of work for them. Great work, actually. He was the one who edited the interview with Lou Elizondo. So that's his work. So he approached me for the UFO Twitter Week, which, which is an event where personalities within the UFO topic and community are invited to Twitter spaces for interviews so people can hear them speak. I know Patrick from Vetted. Shout out, Patrick. I saw your video yesterday. Thank you, man. Much love. I saw that he's going to run a space. So when I spoke to Astral, I thought of this guest uh, as one of my first choices. And when I realized that he wasn't really answering my messages, he's a really busy guy. I told Astral that I wouldn't be able to do the space. He was like, okay, that's cool, man. And then this person responded today. So I am doing the space after all. And some of the vetters already know who it is because I kind of told them, but I want to keep it a, like a surprise for everybody when the announcement comes. But expect it. It's someone that a lot of people are not expecting probably and someone who knows a lot uh, of inside information into the phenomenon. So be aware. The topic that I want to uh, talk about today, though, it has to do with something that I've been marinating for months already. As you guys know, I've told you many times before that I do have a media analysis training from college. We have a, a, at ITESO in, in Guadalajara, we have a tool which turned into a magazine, but it started as a professional project, kind of like a like a dissertation project or something like that. One of the uh, uh, alumni from the communication department uh, came up with a brilliant idea. It's called Media Observatory. And they decided it was so good, it was so effective that they decided to leave it as some kind of a tool for communication uh, students. And I found it to be really useful because... It is a tool that helps you learn how to discern any communication media outlet or uh, a famous influencer or a television channel or a newspaper or whatever. Any media outlet you can think of in today's world with the internet, with social media. And it is used to learn how to identify to which side of the ideology and political spectrum this media outlet leans towards. So I have that tool in my head since college. So I, I use it all the time, automatically. When I got into a UFO community last year, I started like going into spaces and everything. Little naive me thought that the UFO topic amongst believers or people who think something is going on would unite everybody and that political agendas or political ideologies wouldn't be that important or religious ideologies for that matter because that is also a topic that I'm going to discuss today. But then I realized that there's like um, different factions within the UFO community that uh, they disagree with each other and attack each other and initially, I thought that it had to do with just different opinions on the same subject. But then I started realizing that politics and religion are actually permeating into the UFO topic. 
and you can't really see like for example uh i'm just gonna tell you people like julian dory or danny jones who have huge podcasts and they have some amazing guests they can't uh have a guest that they want to have without getting criticized by either one side of the political spectrum or the other and i think that that is one of the most damaging things within the ufo community that is already starting to like go into the highest spheres of the ufo community the best example i can use is that uh yesterday lou alessandro was on donald trump jr's podcast talking about ufos i told you guys that he was gonna go way mainstream after the daily show he did a people magazine interview and now he did this i don't know what else he's gonna do but you can already tell that he's trying to cover every side of the aisle both democrats and republicans because it is important he understands that uh the fact that this topic should be universal is something that he needs to advocate for and i think he's trying to do that the problem is that i think there's a double standard because uh for example with representative tim burchett who notoriously has a uh, republican conservative and ideas that uh people from the democratic party would consider far right or right wing and as soon as he starts like uh talking about his own politics on his platforms people within the ufo community who are democratic in nature uh tend to uh criticize burchett they criticize luna too She's a Republican as well. I really don't have any skin in the game. I I've told you before. I think this um, bipartisan politics is one of the biggest cancers in America right now. It's the reason that we're so divided. And that goes hand in hand with religious dogma, which is also a major problem, not just in the UFO community, but in the world. We can see how religious differences especially specifically from the abrahamic religions have caused wars for over 2000 years and major disagreements that to this day persist and that has also permeated a little bit into the ufo topic we see how uh, experiencers or people within the topic talk about this phenomenon being spiritual or religious even in nature i am not criticizing anybody here i respect everybody's opinions and ideologies but i do have one commentary to say about mr chris bledsoe and his upbringing though because he grew up in a household where religion is is normal and it's like a practiced constantly and if you go to dr jacques valet's passport to magonia book he specifically talks about the phenomenon taking the form of the the era or the times and also takes the form of uh the beliefs of people within the region and mr chris bledsoe believes that the phenomenon that presents itself to him it's angelic or religious in nature that can be debated i i'm sure of it I am not going to dispute anything that he claims or says. I can obviously have a, a a civilized conversation about it because I do have a different opinion and we can talk about it uh, eventually when I get a chance. But I do think that this upbringing that Mr. Bledsoe has has uh, in some way or another affected the way he views the phenomenon and the way he interacts with the phenomenon. I think that at the end of the day, probably the best or most balanced uh, perspective on what the phenomenon is, especially for an experiencer, could be like a more universal type of ideology that doesn't necessarily have to do anything with uh, either the Bible or any kind of ancient scripture specifically. They don't necessarily have to be regarded as angels. I... I do understand 
a more broad term that could be spiritual beings, which uh, to some people who have experienced the phenomenon believe that it, it is spiritual in nature. But spiritual doesn't mean religious, you know. And in terms of politics, it is very evident. Correct me if you think I'm wrong. Uh, you're more than welcome to do that. But I think it's evident that people who are more uh, Christian or heavily religious in nature tend to think of the phenomenon as this, like a more spiritual thing, angels, demons, or if you're uh, if you practice Islam, uh, I've heard people who are Muslim who talk about the phenomenon being like some type of demons that they call jinn, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. You're going to correct me in the comments. So we encounter ourselves with kind of a difficult and really complex dilemma and something that we need to work on together because I want to know uh, about the people who are within the disclosure movement. I know that there are a lot of people in there that do believe the phenomenon is real, but they believe that it has a religious connotation to it or spiritual. I want to know what makes them think that is the case. I also think, on the other hand, that regarding the phenomenon as just nuts and bolts and just strictly uh, coming from science that we understand today, not the one that we haven't understood yet. I think that going that route is also uh, absolutist. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that we do need to have more uh, communion and talk about these issues more between ourselves especially between the people that have a difference of opinion on the matter and try to reach like a middle ground so we can uh, coexist together with what we think is going on and maybe try and find the source of what's going on. And I do think that there's a number of people within the control disclosure movement that perpetuate this d divisive uh, thinking that if you're a believer in the UFO phenomenon and you're like a diehard Republican or right wing, you're already like part of the QAnon group. Or if you are part of the Democratic side that is left wing and more socialist, then you are part of the woke group, which I mean, both uh, interpretations or uh, stereotypes, I think, are disgusting to be honest with you because you're already making a judgment against a person for their ideology but you don't really know the person for all you know they could be like really republican and when they invite you to their home they they have like the best treatment to you and offer you food and respect your own ideologies they can have their own but they respect yours and even though you have a difference of opinion that's okay that's that's the way the world works. It would be really boring if everybody thought the same way. That's my opinion. And I think that um, these topics of religion and politics within the UFO topic are already hurting the topic itself. I think that we need to learn how to identify that further and try to combat the intrusive thoughts of uh, immediately putting people down or shutting people down if they have a very different political or religious view than we do. I don't think that's going to take us anywhere. And there's proof right now, like within the UFO Twitter community, there's so much division. And I've learned to like identify where that division comes from. And it's usually because of different uh, either religious or political ideologies or philosophies and i think that needs to stop because if we continue that way i don't think any legislation is going to pass i don't think um and i'm talking about both politics and religion because politicians are very religious a lot of them and sometimes they even put their religion and their beliefs 
above all of these topics that are more universal. And that can't keep happening. It just can't. Both sides need to understand that this is way more important and it goes way beyond whatever you believe. It has to do with the nature of reality, what actually reality actually is. So this is also one of the main reasons why I think that uh, through politics and religion, the UFO topic or this so-called disclosure uh, is probably not going to happen. Because these hurdles are way too important and way too difficult to overcome if we don't work together. And right now, I don't feel we are together. I feel we're the most divided we've been in history, uh, probably. So the only place that I think that if we're going to have some sort of public disclosure, uh, it is going to come from either a scientist or some kind of scientific or technological equipment. But I do think also that experiencers and this term disclosure has already happened to millions of people around the world. They don't need that confirmation. And I agree with them. I think still, though, that even though they don't believe that they need that confirmation, having a more public acknowledgement from powers that be whether it's uh, world governments or the Vatican or, you know, that is important because the large majority of people around the world listen to what these institutions have to say. So whether you believe in uh, any kind of God or not, whether you exercise partisan politics or not, uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is that laws need to be passed and religious institutions need to come forward and talk about why they believe the phenomenon is spiritual in nature. And this uh, uh, religious division is also a really tough cookie to crack, man. Because you're talking about like a set of beliefs that was established over 2,000 years ago. That was essentially the first control system in history. And it's, it's perdured, it's, it's lasted for so long, and it's only grown stronger and more, it's gathered far more power than it used to have, um, depending on the religion, but yeah. Um, and I think that that one's going to be even tougher than the political division. Uh, but if we don't start somewhere, it's going to be really impossible to fix any of these issues so we need to put all the cards on the table and start talking to each other about this instead of just attacking and putting people down that's just my two cents on the matter i wanted to rant about this because i've been thinking about it for a while and i don't think it's any good for uh the community and the topic in general so i want to thank everybody for the support and uh, all the comments you've left and I, I saw uh, one of the supporters of Sico Activo donated a hundred dollars man thank you so much for for that it is all very very appreciated you didn't have to do that but it is very very appreciated um, I do bust my ass off doing this and I already knew that some people were gonna come after me after the the previous uh, report uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that some of the topics that I cover uh, are not as comfortable for some of the disclosure movement people. I don't know if uh, they, I don't know how they feel that I talk about this stuff. I hope they don't uh, sense that I am like trying to attack anybody. I am not. I'm just pointing out some inconsistencies and that's it, man. I, I want to get along with people. That's my main thing. I've always been like that. I guess that's why I like dogs so much. <laughs> because dogs like to get along with everyone. I think I'm a dog and, and at heart, you know. But yeah, if you like the content you see, please like, share, comment, subscribe. You can share on different platforms. YouTube loves that, so please continue to do that. 
If you want to support me in any other way or the channel, I'm going to leave a few links in the description. One of them is an Amazon wish list. Another one is for you to get yourself something. And there are some donations links in the description. But let me know what you think about this uh, topic, about politics, religion, and UFOs. Where do you stand on it? Where do you stand of this division that's uh, pretty evident by this point? Let me know in the comments. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video for the big announcement of the UFO Twitter Week guest. Bye.